Making an impression on someone while you look at them is one crazy thing. I mean, it's one thing to try and act up and sound like a celebrity, and it's a totally different thing to imitate the celebrity while they're right in front of you. Some of these celebs find it difficult to believe how they actually sound when they're being impersonated. What makes it even more hilarious is the fact that they aren't just being impersonated by random people. It's their fellow celebrities who do the impersonations. So in this video, we're going to show you some of the funniest impressions done in front of an actual celebrity. So stay tuned and don't forget to stay tuned until the end of this video. And also turn on post notifications because we've got a lot of exciting content on the way for you. John Malkovich couldn't believe what he sounded like when Bill Harder made an impression of him. He was in disbelief. My name is John Malkovich. I don't sound anything like that. No, no, you sound exactly like this. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, yes, you do. Nicolas Cage had a crazy reaction after seeing himself impersonated by Andy Samberg. Believe us, it's hilarious. This Nick is calm and stealthy like a ninja warrior. Whereas this Nick is an exaggerated, screaming psychopath <laughs> and really just doesn't exist. <laughs> That's high praise. <laughs> They are already known to be the funniest duo on earth. Dwayne Johnson tried to impersonate Kevin Hart, and it was an outburst of laughter for both of them. Um, I'm Kevin Hart, right? Mm -hmm. Right, in high school. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, 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 everybody, hey, hey, girl, hey, girl. No, she, she ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. She ain't hear me. <laughs> hey, Miss Johnson. Yeah. I'm gonna do good on that test. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, I mean, we never even got hey. to the answer, but I don't care because I love that. Hey, girl. I, <laughs> I can promise you that once you're done watching this video, you're gonna laugh your ass off. Eddie Murphy tried to sound like Mike Tyson, and it was beyond funny. Stay tuned for more of the Sammy Davis Jr. tribute honoring the one heavyweight I would never dare step into the ring with. Sammy, you are truly the undefeated champion. Students of the show was hoping you'd have a little more feeling of more Mike, you know, a little bit more Mike Tyson, you know, more Mike Tysonism, like, like, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sammy and I would like. Tom Hiddleston imitated Robert De Niro on a show, and he couldn't believe how accurate Tom's impressions were. He was speechless. <laughs> <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face, yeah, but I will not hesitate, not for a second. And that's my... Hey. Oh. <laughs> On the same show, Tom Hiddleston made an impression of Graham Norton, and from the impression, he can say Tom deserves an award because it was very spot on. It's like, I always, I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to do it until I've met you, but I have. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't, go, go. <laughs> So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> um, so, so you, so you, you've never been on the show. Um, Kevin Spacey gave one of the funniest impressions of Jack Nicholson. Everyone who was present had a laugh and it was hilarious. Isn't this brave? <laughs> Another day. Another $50,000. <laughs> no, Jack said, uh, the one thing about Nichols is he's a comic. The bastard's always laughing. It's like working with a damn clown in a director's chair. Jack Black outdid himself while trying to make a hilarious impression of Dwayne Johnson. All he could do was smile and laugh. I'm curious if you could just walk me through a little bit about what it takes to be Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. First of all, you're uh, Kathleen from Screen Junkies, right? I never forget a face, I never forget a thing. My mind's like a steel trap. Uh, you know, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and uh, do 27,000 rip curls, uh, bleed, blood, sweat, tears. That's the approach that I take to life. That's how I approach everything. 
If you were part of an audience while Jay Farrow was trying to give an impression of Shaquille O'Neal, trust us, you wouldn't be able to control your laughter. But I've been doing Shaq for so long, I can tell you exactly what he's thinking right now. <laughs> All my friends are saying mean things. Hurt my feelings. Shaq a big strong man outside, but soft inside. Shaq hate bullets. Everyone is calling Shaq dumb, but Shaq not dumb. I have a doctorate. Charles is the dumb one. Charles probably think doctorate is a girl doctor. Shaq a boy doctor. Clee Eastwood is actually very surprised by impersonations done by Jim Carrey. And at some point, all he could do was laugh and cover his face in disbelief. I love that tape. <laughs> and I show it to all my friends. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just turn the camera on and let him go. final performance down to this little piece that I'd like to perform for you now. Hey man, I can handle it. <laughs> Kevin Spacey sure knows how to give an exact impression of anyone. Al Pacino could definitely not believe he was the one being impersonated. So you have to start by searching for something that has gone missing. <laughs> Where is it? My wallet, my, my passport, my toothbrush, my lines, my performance. Whoa, where did that go? If you look at his face, it's like, what just happened? The last thing I remember, I was snorting a wheelbarrow full of cocaine in Scarface, and now I'm sitting next to the president. Whoa, how did that happen? Now, this was actually very beautiful to watch. Jamie Foxx blew Denzel Washington's mind when he gave an exact impersonation of how he talks and acts. Your calling card, you get your fucking hands off me. Oh, really? Every, every, I'm a comic, so every, every time oh, we do you, that you get your fucking yeah, hand. that's right. Yeah. Say it with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll, I'll grab your hand yeah, and yeah, you yeah, play yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You get your fucking <laughs> hands off me. Oprah Winifrey is one hell of a genius when it comes to giving impressions of people. She gave a mind-blowing impression of Reese Witherspoon, and it was too funny to watch. Girl, girls, ladies, ladies, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I have a helicopter gonna pick us up right in front of the yard, right there. We're gonna go right in front of the yard. Then we're gonna go to the top of the mountain, then we're gonna hike, y'all. Then we're gonna get on the boat, y'all. She imitated her idol from a movie they both featured in. Kiki Palmer gave the best impression of Angela Bassett, and it was mind-blowingly accurate. You will laugh, and you will cheat, and I don't want you, I don't, I don't want, want you, you, I don't want, want you, want you no more. <laughs> Jolie Bowen is known for giving the best impressions. She was on The Ellen Show, and she gave a perfect imitation of Sofia Vergara. It was so amusing to watch. What are you going to wear for Ellen? And I said, you know, I'm gonna wear, she goes, is it cocktail? <laughs> said, well, I'm wearing like trousers, but cocktail. <laughs> I will wear something tight and like a dolce maybe, but it will have fruit on it or flowers, so you know it's for the day. It's not a cocktail. <laughs> Julianne Moore couldn't believe the impersonation Chloe Feynman did of her. She was totally speechless, and Moore acted like her too. Is this Julianne Moore laughing or crying? <laughs> We're wrapping up today with a funny impression from The Late Night Show. Jimmy Fallon tried copying and acting like Russell Brand, and it was nothing but hilarious. That's when you come you out, it. you're very flowy and very high-pitched and very outgoing, <laughs> and your arm moves, and you're looking, and you're singing, and you're sexy and unbuttoned. That's a bloody good impression. In a way, it's an honor to be humiliated by you. <laughs> There you have it guys, some of these celebrities really do know how to make an impression on their fellow celebs. You're going to be surprised at how good these celebrities are at being carbon copies of one another. Keep the comments buzzing and let us know which of these moments you found the funniest. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep all these videos coming to your inbox. And we'll see you in the next one.